Grace and peace be multiplied unto you all. I want to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And the purpose of this is to read about comfort. And it's very important that we comfort one another, that we help one another. You know, it's not a one man is an island kind of salvation. And it's not that I am greater than you, more righteous than you salvation. It's a team effort. And we are strong as a weakest link. Okay? So I'm going to count browse through and summarize this and you can always read it all the words are here first salutations from paul and i'm going to salute you as i salute paul and you can just put in your country your name in the space of that and let's duplicate this let's let's use this to speak to other people words of life you know you can be a minister of the gospel all of us can be ministers and all of us are ministers of the gospel when we start to serve other people nobody is greater than anyone here and it's an honor to serve someone. They esteem higher than us. We are servant to them. And similarly, when they serve us in whatever capacity, they are also honoring us. So let's go. First of salutation, grace and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Duplication, duplication. He shows us how, what comfort is, how it feels, and we are able to show others what comfort is in very uncomfortable situations. By the comfort where which we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Christ. Same Jesus who suffered is the same Jesus who comforts us through the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Wherewith we be, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. So basically, everything we go through, or everything you go through, is to benefit someone else, to wash them, salvation, and to also console them or comfort them consolation which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer and whether we be comforted it is for your consolation and salvation this is our purpose and our hope of you is steadfast knowing that as you partake of the sufferings you shall also partake of the consoling for we would not brethren have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in whatever country you're in that we were pressed out of measure above strength in so much that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raiseth the dead, who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver, in whom we trust he will yet deliver us. We also helping together, you also helping together by prayer for us, you help us that for the gift bestowed upon us by means of many persons, you put a gift on us. Your, your, your good sentiments towards us, your good mindset, the good mind towards us, causes that we benefit from that, we get a gift. Thanks may be given by many on our behalf. For all rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshy wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world, and much more abundantly to you. For we write none other thing to you that you would read or acknowledge, and I trust you shall acknowledge even to the end. As also you have acknowledged us in part, that we are your rejoice, even as you are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And today is the Lord's day, right? And in this confidence, I was minded to come unto you that you might have a second benefit and that to pass by you unto Macedonia, or whatever country, and come out of that country unto you, and of you to be brought on my way towards Judea, or whatever country. This is in route. So I just want to stop there. There's so much more to read, but I wanted to just stop there and speak about comforting. And all our experiences and all our knowledge is so that we can be, as the comforter, act to comfort us. As the comforters who comforted us, 
so we also comfort others. It's all.